remember the secret tunnel over here. They said it's gonna be important later. Hey lady, didn't you just bust in here wearing Magitek armor? Wait a sec. Get out of here. If you don't... <gasps> the old man! Hold on. I'm King Edgar of Figaro. Liar. <laughs> it's all my fault. No, it's not your fault, Tara. Oh! <gasps> they even kick her! I can't remember... Oh, that's right! They're alive! <gasps> ah, look at all! Ah, look at them! Mog, what are you doing here? Kupo! Kupo! I'm waiting for Kupog. Kupo! 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 Poyo! Dan. Do I want that treasure chest, though? What? Let me talk to Mog! Oh, Lord have mercy. I hope that was inadmissible. I wanted to talk to Mog. Wait, wait, wait. I can rewind. I can rewind, chat. What am I thinking? <laughs> There's so many of them. I think this is Mog. What the? Is this a town hall meeting? I understand all of it. Except, how can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that. Something like it. Ha! Huh, he's right, you know. Banana. Our blood will spill because of you. Yeah, the gang's all here. We're just missing Shadow and Inceptor. Emperor Gastal's racing to acquire magic power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of Magitek power will surely lead to global destruction. We gotta get rid of magic, I think. It's funny because I'm reminded of another animation where magic is gone, but I don't know about this game. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn. You know, I think it's a good thing we did Locke and Sabin first before doing this part. <laughs> Sabin, you're all right. Who's with you? Uh, let's see here. Uh, a very depressed samurai and uh, Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. I'm Cyan, retainer to the Lord of Dova. <laughs> like, this game's Blue Mage, it seems. I haven't seen all of them, but he's... <laughs> he is Donnie and Tarzan combined. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... He, uh, Kefka don't care. Kefka's gonna kill everybody regardless of who you are. That's nonsense. Dang, the whole gang is here. Lock. The Empire is poised to attack Narshe right now. What? Locke, where'd you hear that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's generals. Ugh. I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gao, out of my way. Uh, poor Gao. This is General Celeste. She torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now stand aside. Wait! Celeste has joined the Returners. She's fighting with us now. But I promise I'd protect her. I will not back out of my word. Locke, are you still thinking about that? The arrangement of the scenarios encourages players to do Locke, Sab, and Terra, but I like that they give you the freedom to choose whatever, whichever order. I wonder what would have happened if I just went with Terra. I think we probably wouldn't get all of these party members, huh? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? The Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. 
Yeah, you know who is evil? The Moogle. Wait, who? Who's saying that? Is that him? The guy who looks like the mummy? No, all three scenarios are mandatory. Only thing that changes is the order. Oh, okay. So everybody would come into this inn, regardless. Emergency. The Empire cometh. Dang, I love everybody's shocked faces. Like, every single one of them have their own animated faces. I don't care what you do here. Just get me that Esper! Lord Kefka. There are civilians here. Exterminate everyone! But Narche is neutral. Idiots! Read my lips! Dispose of any who oppose us! March! <laughs> I love the little animation. Kevka is crazy. I'm, I'm telling you, he's like the DC Joker version, but Final Fantasy version, you know? We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. Although, if you glitch out of town without recruiting Celeste, the game replaces her with a Moogle, so Locke would be introducing... <laughs> introducing a Moogle, that sucks! Celeste is a missable. They're after the Esper. Uh, uh, we moved in. Sorry. They're after the Esper. We moved it into the hills. Then we're going up after it. That might be the Phoenix. Locke has a complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking... Okay, I'm a soldier who not some love star... Love star twit. Cold as ice. So you were born with the power of magic. Isn't it a lovely gift? You... Can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a Magitech knight. Have you... loved anyone? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Have you loved anyone? <laughs> Don't think for a moment. I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. I mean, we're all in it together. Look at all of us. What a random question. <laughs> I wonder sometimes. Yeah, I wonder about that question. I feel like that question is foreshadowing to something. No, I'm not prepared. Oh, I get to switch. I love how the kid is just here. Maybe I should stick with Terra or Celeste, maybe. It's very suspicious how this game is... Defeat Kefka before his men reach Banon. Otherwise, you lose. Oh, okay. Problem is, I only have seven, so only one group would have two. So I'm putting Terra and Silas on here because they're both mages and they have heal. And that's why they gave me the tutorial. I love this. Seven didn't really have this. Like, at some points, maybe I'm not gonna talk about Seven so much because this is Final Fantasy VI, and I understand old game. It's whatever, it's Final Fantasy, Some pe many people here have probably played it, but... You never know, some of you probably haven't played 7 yet. I think this is perfect, I think we're okay. Oh ho! It's General Celeste! Or Celeste, sorry. It's General Celeste, the traitor! How delightful! This'll be fun. Yeah, let's go! Go! Get those vile insects! Alright. General Celery! <laughs> she is green, too. It doesn't help that she's green. What's a noise blaster? Let's check that out. Oh, they're confused. Oh my god! Wait, can I talk to my other party members? He stuck that crown on me. Bloody Empire, we are your worst enemy. Oh, okay, hold on. They have different interactions. I'm free, the Empire can't control me. I 
Okay, what will happen if we're seven? Master Duncan's techniques must have failed me. I like this. There's dialogue. This is dialogue you don't see unless you interact with them. Go! Hit hard! Oh, boss battle time. Oh, that's Kefka. All right, that's definitely Kefka. <laughs> there he is. He's having a good time over there, you know? What? Wait, how is it... Wait, why? Oh, let me guess. He turned to do a zombie. That could only be the one explanation to all this. Don't think you won. I'll be back. Well, I mean, Gal doesn't get any EXP. <laughs> or maybe there is no EXP. Ah, I won't forget this. Where's the Esper? Is it okay? Oh, we're gonna have to see. Poor Gao. What is that? That was a close call. It might be the cockatiel? Can it still be alive? Impossible, right? Tara, what is it? Whoop. That's, uh, radiating. No! What? Youch! Oh, oh, okay. What is going on? Terran and the Esper, there's some kind of reaction. What? What am I feeling? Huh? What? What's going on? Please, tell me. Who am I? Who? Poor Tara, she's over here having amnesia. Tara! And Esper? I could actually feel its mind. Tara, step away from the Esper. Oh my Jesus. I love how the flute kicks in the moment she gets the power. Oh! Oh, this is... Oh, I understand from the city. Yeah. Why does she sound like that? She turned into Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> oh! Where is she going? This is Dragon Ball. We're just literally flying around the planet. Trying to search for the seventh Dragon Ball. Yeah, we. Uh, you're awake. Where's Terra? She's an airship. She's just flying. She was a punk rocker the whole time. <laughs> she changed into uh something and took off. She looked like. I think she is an Esper, probably. Like, she herself is an Esper. She looked like an Esper. Something happened to Terra. There seems to be some connection between Espers and her. Anyway, we need to find her. Witnesses saw her screaming across the sky to the west. Sign you up! Sign me up! Green-haired girls will ruin you! <laughs> You'll never see it coming! Let's go. I promised her I'd... Lock. Think, people. The Empire still wants that Esper. Fauna needs our help, too. A former... A former... 
Imperial soldier. But we've no choice. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay and guard Narshai. Figaro Castle can shuttle us to the western province. Then we'll make for Kolingen or Jador. There's seven of us right now, currently, right? And Gao's... Uh, Gao is basically Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Redacted Empire won't listen. Cursed the day we dug up that Esper. That's what brought the Empire here. Yeah, maybe you guys should stop digging up fossilized creatures from the ground. Yes? Okay, not you, Shadow. The other one. <laughs> I saw some Moogles walking with a Sasquatch. A Sasquatch? So... Everything has meaning in this game, so I assume we're gonna encounter this Sasquatch. <gasps> a bed for me. Yes, I could sleep here for free, chat! The collective. Take them before the Empire does. Okay, sure. Only one of them is locked. Now, what do you suppose is inside? Oh, that's easy. We're gonna go to that man's house. Only the chest in the back is locked. Can it be opened? Yeah, if I pry my keyblade hard enough, it will. I think what's gonna happen is this whole town is gonna get invaded, and then whatever is in that chest is gonna be pried open. So we're supposed to go to Figaro Castle, but I wanna take my hand on that Satch Squatch that they just mentioned. Yeah, the character list is growing. Out of all the Final Fantasies I've played so far, this is the game that has the most characters I've seen <laughs> in a Final Fantasy, which is crazy to me. If only Sabin were here. Crap! I should have brought him here. <laughs> this is like old times. I have to wander around for a while. When I get past the mountains, this castle can't fly, but it could submerge. Find the person in charge of the engine room. Oh, wait, what? I could have this castle, like, fly? Wait, no, it can't fly, but what about the engine room? It makes sense to bring Sab in here. Actually, both of the brothers. This castle hasn't changed much. What? You eat glass? What? And yet, it's all different. Mom and Dad are gone. Everyone's gone. Since that day. Oh, flashback scene. Tonight. Took a turn for the worse. There's a chance- okay. No, you're wrong! This can't be! Matron and the King, he's... Sabin! Sabin! Oh, that's when he started crying. I think. My father. I don't believe this. Oh, brother. Ah. So, they went and told you. Told him? So he's not actually the brother? Edgar, here you are. Your father. He just uttered his last wish that Fergaro be divided between you. This is nonsense! Everyone's saying that the Empire poisoned Dad. And the only thing on your mind is who is going to be the next king? You're all pathetic. No one cared when mom passed away, either. That's not... You were as bad as any of them! Sabin. Empire murderers. They won't get away with this. Matron. Please, leave us. This music is so... sad. What'll happen to this realm if we both leave? And what would Dad say? Sabin, let's settle this with a toss of a coin. If it's heads, 
you win. We'll choose whichever path we want without any regrets, okay? Aww. This is for Dad. And then you opted for your freedom. Oh, he's crying. It's been 10 years. Oh, by then he's already a teenager and now he's an adult now. The little shrimp's grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. <laughs> he's crabbing. Sabin, I often wonder if he'd be proud of me. Don't you ever doubt that. 10 years. Where has the time gone? Yeah, it's been a long time. Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. <laughs> What's life? What's adulting? I hate it. Here's to dad. To mom. And to Figaro. I was wondering, like, where? Okay. So how are we... Are we literally just gonna dig our way into the crust of the earth? That's crazy to me. <laughs> uh, I wonder whatever happened to Rachel. What the heck? Uh, that's scary. Who is that? Clyde, I'm done for, but find me here. Please, Clyde! Um... This is scary. Is that? It was definitely none of the... Well, maybe it might be Shadow. Not sure I would trust how they would handle it. Oh, no, I understand. Yeah, this game does deserve to be played by more people. It is a gem, for sure. Yeah, that's how it is with a lot of remakes. Like, will it be faithful? But at the same time, the devs want to do something different with the game. And it's hard. I, I feel like at that point, you can't just please everybody. You think this is scary? Imagine triggering this scene without knowing it exists. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. The heck? Yahoo! We did it! Clyde! A million GB. What a blast! I love this! Guess it's time to change your name. Our name? Our name? Our name. We need something more appropriate. Such as... Shadow. Not bad, huh? Huh? Oh, we are Shadow. <gasps> Great train robbers of the century. Shadow? What if Clyde is Shadow, but the dog ended up being Baram? And Baram turned into a dog. Yeah, Yahoo! Open your eyes. I'm scared. 
Is is this my blood? You're gonna be okay. I've let you down. I'm sorry. Save your strength. We're almost to a town. You don't have to pretend. I know I've lost too much blood. Get going. I'm gonna slow you down, but you wanna get caught? Before you go, you have to use your knife. Knife? <gasps> what? Think they'll do to me? Wait, what? Think what they'll do to me if I get caught. I don't want to go through that. Do me this favor. Oh, <gasps> He asked to be killed. Are you shaking? I can't believe it. You're acting like a coward. Come on, you weakling. Grab a knife and... I can't! Clyde! Oh... I'm sorry. Clyde, how dare you! This is crazy. Okay, Shadow, have a good night. How's the game so far? It's been going great, Kiko. This is insane to me. So... This is Shadow's origin story. Oh, there! So Clyde is Shadow. Hey! Hey! Stay with me now! Where am... This is insane. A small village called Thama. Hang in there. Alright, so that's Shadow. That's it? Thama. That's crazy, so Shadow is Clyde. I thought Shadow was a hedgehog, he is. <laughs> wow, your luck. I believe there is a 1 4 chance whenever you're rest of getting one of these scenes. That's crazy. 1 4 chance? What? I'm pretty sure she just casually got all four in a row. That's. What? That is pretty, pretty crazy luck. I don't look forward to the amount of luck later. <laughs> Wasn't able to save her when she needed me. Locked. What are we off to find today? Soon you'll... You're not going to believe what awaits us up here. Come on, it's worth a fortune. Let me guess, she falls over the bridge. Locke, look out! Ah, oh, god dang it! <laughs> Rachel! <gasps> he jumps in to save her. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, look at it's the G Game Boy. It's the Game Boy color. Rachel, are you awake? I I can't remember anything. She has amnesia. Get out of here. It's your fault she's lost her memory. Wait a minute. She said yes. We were gonna... Oh, he had a lover and this is his lover. Go. I don't know who you are, but ever since you came here, my parents have been upset. Oh, that's so sad. What? You best leave Rachel alone. She's going to have to make a new start of it. Look, your being, your being here doesn't help. This is so sad. I mean, 
think she saved his life, but because she doesn't remember, things just went downhill. A year passed. When I returned here, I learned that Rachel had perished in an Imperial attack. Her memory returned just before she passed away. The last thing she uttered was, my name. I should never have left her side. I... I failed her. Aww. That's so sad. <laughs> Did everybody just... Hey, I have a, have a very sappy... Sad, sappy story to tell everybody. I had a lover. She passed away. But before that, she also had amnesia. Which made it a lot worse. But before she passed away, she remembered my name. And then everyone was like, Oh yeah, that's very sad, bro. Come here. <laughs> you know, it's very touching. I know I'm making it as a joke, but the fact that Shadow is there just makes it even funnier. He just happens to be there for the ride. Watch, we're going to find Rachel, probably. Maybe she's an undead. A ghost, maybe. <gasps> maybe a super boss. See, every time I find an elixir, it's always on the clock. Time is ticking, folks. Stokes! Is that Rachel? No way. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, is that you, Locke? It's been a while. Uh, oh, that? Worry not, your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> Treasure? What is he doing? You old man. I was just like... Oh, we might find her. Maybe she'll be a super boss or something. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. I just jinxed it. I was joking. I was thinking like maybe ghost or zombie or something. No way this old man literally Frankensteined her. You mean those herbs have actually saved her? Of course, the love of your life will sleep here like this forever. <laughs> Wait for... She is basically sleeping beauty. What does he have to do? Kiss her to wake her up? What if there were some way to call her back? <coughs> Who is that? <coughs> Hello? Is this the dead? Rachel, why are you calling? You're supposed to call Locke. What? You want him to kiss you. Alright. Oh, and you want me to also kiss the, the dog interceptor. That's great. Okay. All right, that'll be uh, 10,000 gil. I don't know how you're gonna pay me in the afterlife, but that's great. Okay, goodbye. It's not cheating. He has Rachel's blessing. Exactly, Kenson. See? See? We're on the same page. If you could call her back, she'd come back. Wahaha. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something that'll bring her around. Uh, which is what? The dog? I failed her. All three of them are just looking. That's it? Really? I love how... It's the music. It's definitely the music. I think she's gonna wake up and attack me. Old man has been watching over her. Um, I don't know if I should be a little concerned. <laughs> oh, it came to my house. A monster of light looks somehow human. So this is... Oh, I understand. The monster probably destroyed his house. Oh, it's green now. I love how they all have different colors. Look, don't you have a family? Just shut up and take it. <laughs> shut up and take my money. <laughs> it missed! No! Youch! That thing does 200 damage? I barely left the kingdom. What is this? Oh, okay. I get it. It's a joke. <laughs> I love it. Someone said this is an auction house song and I went, I go with it. This is Jador. The westernmost town on the world map. The westernmost town? I expected cowboy music. Westernmost, not most westernmost <laughs> western. <laughs> I would have said the same thing. Once in a while, one of the idiots from Zozo will wander down here looking for any easy mark. Watch your wallet. Uh-oh. Someone's gonna steal my money? What? What good is money if you don't spend it? I mean, that's true. But I am a hoarder in video games, main. 
Watch out for the pickpockets, Mom. God dang it, Shine Spark. I thought we were done with Sly Cooper. This region is very class conscious. In the south part of town live the middle classes. The rich folks live to the north. Wow. Of course. Ah, uh, the social hierarchy. Who would want to live in this place when you're poor? You like art? I thought that said no Philippines. <laughs> First time I've been here, this ain't the kind of place a poor person usually comes. I mean, they're praying not to be poor anymore. They, they're they praying for riches. <laughs> CT! <laughs> you look, uh, dorky? What? I look dorky to you? Papa, let's buy lots of stuff today, too. Papa, do you have candy? Whether you can appreciate them or not, who knows. Wait, I thought this was a church. Oh, I forgot he mentions the auction house. <laughs> Philistines, Momo. Ah, Philippines. <laughs> At some point... They actually made a portrait of this thing? No way. Looks awfully familiar. The game knows. I feel so bad for the people of Zozo because this is where all the poor people ended up settling. Zozo where everyone's just trying to make an honest living. I do feel bad for the people of Zozo. They just moved here and don't want to deal with the middle and upper class. Honestly, I don't blame them. I feel to I feel like bad too if I start watching them and I don't have any money to go around. This place is dangerous and don't you dare think about jumping between buildings. Okay, I'll jump between buildings. Well, we're going to parkour for a little bit. Did you realize? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Okay, wait. Let me look at it. Hades? I don't... I'm going to run. It's Giga Chat. Oh, it's orange now. I also love how the little crown at the top of the tent is different. Let's see if it gets suplex in. <laughs> oh my god, he died instantly! Oh my god! What? This thing stole all my money! This is why I kept the shirt again. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Minute hand is pointing at six. So six would mean 30 seconds. Okay, so six is the answer. I, I have a feeling. Hands pointing at the two. Oh, 10 minutes. Six hours, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. The hand is pointing at the two. Guess you can say Momo it doesn't have the time for this. It's pointing at the two! The clock doesn't have a hand. One is five minutes. Two is ten minutes. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that's not right. I can go she talked to the guy, but whatever whether or not she remembers is another thing entirely. Yeah, I don't think I remember, baby. The clock has no minute hand and never tells the right time. The clock in the inn is pointing at two. Two! I swear, if I do not get this right by the end of 12 minutes, I am going to do it again tomorrow. Don't say I won't do it! I made it this far. No, worth noting everything they all say. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. The thing is, I didn't know we were gonna reach this part, so... It's already 12 o'clock. Okay, 12 o'clock is not it. That is, 12 o'clock is not it. That means it has to be 10 seconds. Can you guys move? Actually, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna rewind time. Two is not it, chat. Bear with me. Two is not it. All right? Four is not it. Eight is not it. 10 is not it. 12 is not it. Six is the answer. All right? Six is the answer. Okay. You know what? F this. All right, chat, bear with me, okay? This is literally like, best believe 101 class. We're gonna do this right, all right? We're gonna play Momo Solves the Game. Yeah, we're back to school. Who is supposed to be 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Ho 
Holy moly, Momo is still streaming. We're trying to solve the mystery of the freaking Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> gotta get the advocate. <laughs> gotta <laughs> pull out the abacus. The clock is on two. What the f Wait, what? Every clock hit is wrong, and the answer is the only possible time that don't... That they don't give clues for? Oh, that's what Vague meant by everybody lies. Okay, I, I got that part with talking to them. Every clock hit is wrong, and the answer is the only possible time that they don't give clues for. The only answers that lines don't indicate are 6, 10, 10, or 6, 10, 50. Oh, So it was a process of an elimination and trial and error. This is what I get for showing up at the class. Like, yes, Sir Spectre, that is what you get. And therefore, you shall be time out. Yeah, I'm gonna claim my reward. This is the box I will open. A chainsaw? Okay. A chainsaw. Oh, this is for Edgar. Uh, okay, wait, let's see what this chainsaw does. Uh, well, if we don't die first. Ramu? She's scared, you know. Ramu! Is Ramu an Esper? Who are you? I take it that the Espers are summons. They're just named differently. Ramu, this girl is your friend. Is Tara alright? You call her Tara. Tara? How odd. Her humanity is not intact. She is undamaged. But I fear she can't understand you. As for me, I am Ramu. The Esper Ramu. Ah, okay. So Espers are another alias. Another name for summons. I love the art. Well, damn. The humans got banished to purgatory. The Shadow Realm. <laughs> See, this is why I love the sprite work. It is like... I know they're dragging her, but the way that they're dragging because it's in pixel art, it's so funny. No, she's actually quite different. Oh, she's a mixture of Esper and human. Oh. Pardon? When we transform into Magicite, our power can be relocated. Magicite? That's what's left of us when we pass away. Uh, okay. Um, they look like jelly beans. Become outdated in terms of RPG cliches. I'm gonna go about it quickly because I have a lot to say about this game and I don't want to talk so much about it until like after I'm done with it. Basically, I consider the ups and downs of the story of this game to be similar to the quirkiness of Earthbound. And for me, I love that. Like, there's a lot of heartfelt moments, comedic timings, and then when the going gets tough, when everything starts crumbling down, it crumbles. And it doesn't shy away from that. Like, if it gets serious, it's serious. <laughs> um, and that's what I love about it. It's... We all go through that, right? Ups and downs. And this game is, like, similar to that. So he's gonna pass away too? Well, he died for a good cause. Poor old man. He traded his powers so that others might live. Oh, The old man was wise. Why are you doing this? We few can help save many. The war of the Magi must not be repeated. 
Ah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is how we receive espers. Okay. We'll see. It looks like I could level them up. Oh, they gave me four for each person. Remove a sage to go along. Take these jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth. Eat them. I know in uh, localizations, Kirin is the dragon in Chinese. The, the hooved dragon. But I might be wrong. I'm gonna have to look at it to see. <laughs> I faintly remember the, all the summons in this city. Uh. Wow, Kirin has region and all that. That's crazy. I don't want to put Siren on Shadow because if he leaves, if this man leaves, I am rewinding. The urge to backseat and explain how Magicite works is strong, but no backseating. I think I'll figure it out eventually. I just have to use it. It's like these summons have their own individual level, level up EXP. Like, how I'm thinking is maybe they don't level up just on their own. Maybe they level up when I use it. Like, that's one option. Or the other option is, okay, they level up as I go along. But, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Where the hell did they come from? Hi, gaming star, welcome in. You know, note to self, maybe I shouldn't have fought it. Very great choice. It's kind of hard nowadays because I played 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 15, and then 16. And then a bit of 14. But yeah, I think I would default to 10 because it's just so hard to pick nowadays. Let's talk on the way. The Empire is trying to drain magic from Espers. Gao is over here just jumping. I like how everybody is slowly walking down the steps. I don't remember it because I was asleep when they augmented me. Eh. I'll go to the Empire. I know it well. But alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock. What if I just separate them? <laughs> There's no need for me to remain with you. You're leaving? She's good lord, you didn't, get, didn't give him the magic sight, huh? Yeah, that's why I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna put it on him. Why is there a ghost here? Zozo, never heard of it. What? Why is there a ghost here? Celeste looks just like Maria. You look like a Maria? Are you a Maria? That's so funny to me. What if Celeste is Maria? What if Celeste has a twin? Oh. <gasps> and then he's reminded of Maria because of Celeste. Who's this wandering? What's his name? Is he born on a farm, son? He's... <laughs> okay. I see. Okay, go get some dinner, Pastel. A blackjack playing, world traveling, casino dwelling, free spirit. Sensor! It's Sensor! Are you here to struggle? You might recall this Sensor character from a little game called Kingdom Hearts 2. It's Setzer! His art reminds me of the Magitech soldiers in the beginning with Vix and Wedge. That's Setzer, owner of the world's only sh airship. Oh, and he had a Maria? Okay. I love this OST. It's gone! What? I was enjoying the OST! Setzer! Wait, Maria? He's gonna come in and steal Maria? He'll probably appear right at the climax of scene one. He loves an entrance. So he's also gonna play the part. But I don't want Maria to be abducted. Oh, Celeste will be the replacement. We'll let him grab her. 
He's like, what? <laughs> we'll use Celeste as a decoy. After she's abducted, I'll follow him right to his airship. I mean, that... Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Are you mad? If something should happen to Maria... Maria! You said she looks like Maria, right? Now, just a minute. <laughs> she doesn't like this. Celeste will be our Maria. She'll lead us to the airship. Brilliant! <laughs> Aw, poor Celeste. W wait, I'm a general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, poor Celeste. Me, me. Do re mi fa. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's singing. Me, me. Do re mi. Fa <coughs> Okay, well Ma Re Fa Not bad, Celeste What? Why is this thing here? I'll pretend to be Setzer And foil their little plan That thing talk. Oh yeah, I forgot it talks Let's get ready. Celeste, it's showtime. Duh! Come on, raid it! This thing's ugly! Why is this thing here? <laughs> I thought we got rid of him! Let the show begin. Grab your popcorn, folks. There's no audience? Is this an early seating? Okay. Dang, Shaggy over here is conducting. The West and East. They're just that bad. <laughs> We're waging war. Draco, the West's great hero. Malfoy thinks of his love, Maria. Oh, Ave Maria. Is she safe? Is she waiting? No, she's literally in the back room behind me. Is that Onion Knight? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't. No! Da -da 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 Interesting. They actually have lyrics to this. And Shaggy over there is still conducting. Huh. I take it I can move now. <laughs> what if this entire time Kefka is Ultros? I recommend watching the Pixar Master this opera on YouTube. Uh, I feel like eventually we'll get to that, yeah. That's right, Momo. An actual opera and then... 1994 SNES RPG. I love it. Oh, Maria. This blew me away as a kid. Honestly, because it's all in pixels, it doesn't even look like a play. Performance underway. See, Laka's trying to find the bathroom. She looks pretty. 
Ay, it's blushing! Ay, ay, ay. Is that you? <laughs> Lock. Why did you help me escape back there? I once abandoned someone when she needed me. Somewhere inside you were saving her, weren't you? What? Somewhere inside? That ribbon suits you. <laughs> On with the show. This is a big scene in which Maria senses that something's happened to Draco. You better check the score one last time. This poor girl is literally acting. That's the power of the SNES. Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna have to get this right, huh? Okay, hold on. It might be one of those sequences where I have to read it and then I have to memorize what it says. I don't know if it's gonna be timed. I don't even know if it's gonna ask me or prompt it, but I'm just gonna go with the green and assume that's the case. All right, chat, bear with me. Take notes. I wonder if I'll remember this. Uh, you know, I'm willing to write all of this down. Actually, it's it's faster if I type it. I think it's faster if I write, if I type this. Do you want proof? I will show you proof. I am writing this down. Yeah, I usually write things down in my playthroughs. I'm telling you, I have no idea if this game is gonna prompt me. All I know is that I'm gonna get abducted in this game. He's hearing all of this. I think he's gonna fall in love with her. Like, if you're trying to summon the fat chocobo, you're like, What shall I do? I'm lost without you. Speak to me once more! Yeah, that's... the. And then the fat chocobo comes in and gives you DoorDash. I guess Momo's not a Loveless fan. I'm tired of that cult. Scene 2. Wait, if it stops there, that's foreshadowing. That means I get abducted. Wait, no, I should write this part then. <laughs> I took notes. I literally took notes, believe it or not. These are my notes, okay? Do you see this? I took notes. And if the game asks me what the line should be, this is it. I think this opera is inspired by an actual opera. Really? Well, I know Ave Maria. Or even the controller song. Yes, I am prepared. The forces of the West fell and Maria's castle was taken. Prince Wilesy of the East took her hand by force, but she never stopped yearning for Draco. of the performance. Celeste decided to freestyle it. Oh, Maria. Oh, Maria. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Okay, take two. <laughs> take two. Just pretend it never happened. The next line is... Oh, my hero. You could sing this in real time, I'm sure. <laughs> I I'm in the darkness. The god, the freaking... Ah! What? Sometimes wrong, eh? Oops, sorry. <laughs> what? Alright, but yesterday's performance was awful. I'll give you just three more chat. Three more! <laughs> well, I mean, I wrote it down, but here's me who's like, where the hell is it? <laughs> Did I write too small? <laughs> Boom! God dang it! Hold on, we, we have to get this right. Oh my god, this bit sounds like Aerith's theme. I'm really... This bit is nice. <laughs> I must die. I 
Okay, next one. Flashing. Wait, go back out. <laughs> I hope she remembers her lines and say I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. How long can I do this for? Okay. Come, Maria. Follow my lead. I'm so oh. <laughs> I knew it! I had a feeling uh not in time, we messed up. I had a feeling! I had a feeling I waited for that moment because I was like the music might cut off soon. <laughs> Yeah, you could hear it. I could hear it. I'm the darkness! I am Batman! <laughs> I'm the darkness, I'm the night, I'm Batman. And he died. He became a rose full of flowers. What? <laughs> Taz and Celeste are doing all of this in the name of stopping an evil empire. The fact that... Well, she's a general. So it would make sense that she would have a good way of memorizing all of this. I'm not sure what went wrong there. I think I was a little too late. Yeah, there's no time to practice. If anything, I might just remember this song by heart. <laughs> I'm the darkness You're the stars I love it Wait, it's brighter than the sun <laughs> For eternity For me there can be Only Wait, my chosen one uh, Must I, must I Must I forget you a solemn promise Will autumn take the place of spring? What shall I do? I'm lost without you Speak to me once more All right, class Class is in session We're, we're singing together Why does it turn into a bouquet of flowers? Hurry up! Chop chop! <laughs> Hurry up, let me grab you! <laughs> so that way... I'm up here. Okay, thank god. <laughs> this part is so funny. Ah, that's... that's a wonderful moon right there. Wait, that was 
visit part. Wait, what? She just threw him out. So he died and she threw him out. That's great. is looking for a dance partner. Damn, he shouldn't have picked me. Read the past behind. Our kingdom is adopting the spirit of the east. Where are the papers for that? That was not part of the script. Whatever happened, where you pick up the flowers? Oh! Oh, the last part were instructions. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't actually part of the lyrics. <laughs> this is nice. We're dancing. <laughs> she looks pretty with that dress on. Well done, Celeste. This is karaoke opera. Exactly, Kel. It is karaoke opera. She's a general, not some opera floozy, but she remembers! I wrote down where you pick up the flowers. Climb the stairs to the balcony, high atop the castle, raise the flowers to the stars. I thought that was part of the lyrics. I didn't know those were just instructions. <laughs> that's why I was like, wait a minute, that's not part of the song. This game's funny, I love it. I owe you one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera. What? I owe you one? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh-oh. The survivors of the West attack! Impossible! Attack! Wait, wasn't that the person that was unconscious? In Zozo? Why do they look like that? Wait! And the chocobo appears. For sets her to come swooping in and like kidnapping her. But how might he disrupt the opera? With that? With what? What? This is literally a, a 16 bit cartoon now. <laughs> Let's see if Maria can shrug this off. <laughs> is, is that a rat? Oh my god, it's a rat. I thought it was a... Uh, a cockatiel. Draco, he came... for her after all. Yeah, and now you gotta save Maria. <laughs> ah! This is heavier than I thought. It'll take me five minutes to drop it. Ah, uh, too bad. We haven't a second to lose. There's a timer at the bottom right. <laughs> this is why I got the sprint shoes. Move aside! I gotta save the princess. The fact that that thing is here, that thing is cursed. I think that thing used to be a, a, a human, if not an esper. So what, do I get to fight the mouse? Oh, great. Hey, move aside, you rats! I don't know how much time that we have. I think the timer stops when we're in battle. Oh no, it's still going. It's still going. Oh god, am I gonna clutch this? I don't know. I have 45 seconds, gotta hurry up. 
Okay. No, no, no. You rats. Ew. You stupid. Well, we're gonna fight this thing now. <laughs> Hello? Everybody dead? Disaster. If the two heroes are flattened, the opera's over. Then who will win the girl? Oh, it's locked. Nope, that's the airplane. Nope, it's locked. I heard an airplane. So I'm like, oh, my flight is just now arriving. <laughs> the world's premier adventurer will save her. Aya, uh, what awful acting. Silence. You are in the presence of octopus royalty. A low-born thug like you could never defeat me. Hmm, might as well make the most of this <laughs> music. <laughs> Everybody is gonna die, but that's okay. Just keep it going <laughs> for the audience. Bob coming in to save the show. He is. He's saving it. We're gonna fight that stupid thing on the floor. Yeah, we'll fight him for the raffle. Ew, long time no see. You've changed. Did you miss me? This, this is so goofy. I'm gonna suplex him. This is the goofiest little thing I've ever seen. It's also playing goofy music. What the? Here, over here. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, no! What happened? I turned into... That's the imp. The imp is the kappa. This is going downhill so quickly. Oh, it affected him. I ain't no garden variety octopus. Uh, you are now. Imp, how funny. Imp song. Uh, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I like how the imp's just... How sweet it is. Just slaps him on the head. Hey, look, my imp has a nice cool glasses. Adios. Jesus Christ. 2 GP? That's it? That thing is broke. Uh-oh. My flight has arrived. What a performance. <laughs> Set, sir. I'm a man of my word, music man. That's him? What a reversal. Thinking she's Locke's new queen. Maria is instead nabbed by Setzer. What fate lies in store for her? Stay tuned for part two. Part two? <laughs> so instead of a kappa, it's called an imp. Who are you? You're not Maria. <laughs> No, I am Queen Nina. If you knew Japanese folklore, you would know. I've seen Kappa my entire life, so I, I would know what it is. <laughs> the Empire. Evil? Evil Empire! <laughs> if you, if Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help. Otherwise... Oh my god! What? Are you stupid? No, I think Locke wants her too. <laughs> Celeste? can't become his wife. You just can't. Ready? She's gonna cast... Wait. I win. Now, honor your part of the bargain. I knew it! I had a feeling that was gonna happen. To a coin with identical sign. I should have called it the moment they just threw it on the ground. That coin? Big brother, don't tell me. Damn, Zavin is in for a rough one. Like a gambling coin. I think you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. Ah, okay. There are Final Fantasy characters in Kingdom Hearts, yeah. Is that Oni Island? Is that a gorilla? Looks like a face of a gorilla. To go even further, the singers for Celeste's part were instructed to sing 
in an untrained style to be consistent with the fact that Celeste is not a trained opera singer in universe. Oh, that makes sense. So my singing is in correspondence to her singing. The scene can be viewed in its entirety in any of the fully voiced... Oh, sure, okay. Let's save. <laughs> they also have art? God, I like the Kappas when they are just a sprite. Why They look so ugly. They look so ugly. They look like Rugrat. Well, I'm not saying the Rugrats are ugly. It's just they look uglier here. Wait, are we gonna watch them all in, in the language? Or are we just gonna watch the English one? I think the English one is great. But they did it in all languages? That's quite impressive. Now that you experienced the opera, what do you think? I thought it was amazing. It, the fact that it had lyrics. <laughs> it's a nice way to sing along. And honestly, with the Pixar remasters, it makes sense that they would put this in. I feel like it's one of those iconic moments in Six that may be unforgettable. The fact that we've advanced so far in technology to have this localized is incredible. And I can enjoy the full opera without the stress of remembering your lines. True. True. I did write everything down, everybody. You see this? This is effort. I had a feeling this was gonna happen and it worked. Wow. That's quite incredible. It makes me feel like I am at the opera. They actually have the people here? Wow. That's crazy. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. I, I love how they just put the lighting there. Draco, a soldier from the West thinks of his love Maria back at home. Wow, the music. Unfortunately, people on TikTok cannot hear what I'm hearing right now, but it's okay. Bravo. I love the angles. They put in the effort, they even put angles in this game. In this port. Wow, that's incredible. Wow, what? They made it in 3D? That's insane to me. That moon is not pixelized. Wow. Oh, I see. The the lyric they they updated the lyrics too.
This is incredible. I don't know why I feel so emotional right now. Like, this is beautiful. Octopath Traveler for this. Because Octopath was the first to have HD 2D graphics. Wow. There's even a prompt for that? For the X button? Interesting. So instead of just maneuvering, yeah, he turned to the flower girl. I don't know what to tell you. Now you gotta yeet him off of the castle. Like, goodbye, my love. <sighs> goodbye, my love. Jesus Christ, the lighting too. Goodbye. Prince lover. <laughs> wow. You could tell the prince that he could, uh, wait. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. I can only imagine the amount of awe and shock people had. Playing through this game. Wow. And you consider this your favorite Final Fantasy and you're playing it through the remasters? The pixel remasters? Like, wow. Yeah, it went full Octopath. Yeah, I remember Octopath being the first one to have HD 2D graphics. So they definitely learned a lot and applied it to here. This part is incredible, Inari. Impossible. I don't know why I wish the dialogue was also voice acted. <laughs> Wait. And then they're gonna sing. Damn. You see why this is my favorite part? This part is amazing. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, Draco. This part is great. They cared about Final Fantasy VI. Honestly, it's great. I can see the clear difference between that pixel art versus the SNES. Like you could see what's updated and when what and what's not, you know? Yeah, that bit was beautiful. We gotta get rid of these kappas. Does this ship have 
You know, I was about to ask, does this ship have a, a way for me to, I don't know, uh, rest without going into an inn? Oh, customers, near me, refreshments. <gasps> yes! For free! Okay, just in case, you know, I think Warpstone acts as escape rope, like Pokemon. That's my guess. I haven't used it yet, but that's my guess. But yeah, I would have cried too, honestly, Rock Data. If that was my favorite Final Fantasy. This is definitely like in the top Final Fantasy so far for me. I, I'm not even done with the game yet. The game is a very quirky adventure and I love it. I'm here for quirkiness. Obtaining the airship. Yeah, we could go anywhere in the world now, thank God. Uh, his art for this game? I also thought of Alucard. <laughs> from Castlevania.